this is a match a lot of people have been waiting for for a long, long time. It's the Austro-Asian heavyweight wrestling title on the line. Introducing to you in the red corner, the champ himself, wearing the belt from Australia, Ronnie Miller. His opponent in the blue corner, a former Austro-Asian brass knuckles title holder from the United States of America. A big welcome to Joe Brannigan. Joe Brannigan in the blue corner, Ronnie Miller in the red corner. Referee Tony Marino, and of course uh, he's held that title for a while now, Ron Miller. As the referee shows the uh, title belt around to the huge audience we have here. And uh, referee now will give uh, instructions. And there goes the bell. Start the match. And Brannigan moves in, goes for the handshake onto Ronnie Miller. Ronnie Miller very, very fast and agile on his feet. And Joe Brannigan, of course, uh, a super heavyweight in the world of professional wrestling. And you can see Miller will be trying desperately to keep away from the in-wrestling of Brannigan and try to keep away uh, as much as he possibly can because he's giving away a lot in weight, Ron Miller. And Brannigan, as I said, a super heavyweight, will be looking for those big, powerful arms and that body of his to sap the energy from Ron Miller early. Joe Brannigan, centre ring, looking for that uh, hand of Miller to connect there, and they'll have a test of strength here. Or oh, Miller went in with that shoulder charge, went down onto the knees. Brannigan also pretty agile on his feet at the early stages with nobody at this stage gaining the initiative from either. But Brannigan now, with that strength of his, takes Miller down, looking for that hammerlock onto Miller. And the Austro-Asian heavyweight wrestling title is on the line. There's the referee with the count of two onto Ron Miller immediately. And this should develop into a very, very tough and scientific uh, wrestling match, Mike. Should do. I'd just like to remind the uh, folks also, unlimited time in this match, being a title match, so uh, they're going to really wear each other out here. The Austro-Asian Heavyweight Championship Bill, Austro-Asian, representing Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia, as well as you see in Japan and Tokyo, all around that way. And that's the belt that uh, Larry, uh, Ronnie Miller uh, holds there. On, uh, Joe Brannigan, Ronnie Miller, over the top. On stretching of that neck also. I just might mention, uh, Mike, about Joe Brannigan from the United States, from their viewers, um, that he is uh, from America, of course. He turned pro in 1969. He's travelled very extensively to USA, Canada, Japan, with a lot of outstanding records. And as I said before, he has been in that ring with the best of them throughout the entire world. And Ron Miller, of course, has had battles with him before, and he'll certainly know he's had a match tonight. That's right. Well, Ronnie Miller himself has a fairly formidable background, as, as you mentioned. Ronnie Miller, and I used to know him years ago when, uh, and those who follow rugby league, Ronnie was an Eastern Suburbs rugby league player, a, fr a front rower. Used to do a little of, uh, adjusting as far as uh, policing is concerned around the Brighton Hotel at Brighton Lee Sands. And uh, he's been a rugged individual, played a lot of sport in his days. And, uh, you know, I would have said back in the early days of rugby league was a, a, a potential international rugby league player. So, but he decided to go into the uh, circle of uh, wrestling in the world of championship wrestling. And here you see him now, the current Austro-Asian heavyweight champion with a armbar on Joe Brannigan. And his title is on the line, of course, and there's Brannigan now, puts Miller into the ropes. He comes, oh, what about that shoulder there from Ronnie Miller with a body press for the count of two, and how close was that? Miller comes in again, not satisfied, a little bit upset there, but that referee's hand didn't come down hard for that third count. And he has that arm lock there onto Joe Brenning, who's sitting it out there at centre ring. And Ronnie Miller, of course, with his title on the line, will certainly want to try and finish this match off as quickly as he possibly can, and has won a lot of matches with that famous reverse figure four leg lock, Mike. Ronnie Miller, indeed. I just uh, noticed, too, when you were mentioning about uh, Joe Brannigan and the college background, it's uh, amazing how the ranks of uh, world the championship wrestling is full of fellows who started in college in amateur wrestling and I know Ronnie Miller and I gave you a little bit of a background Ronnie Miller had a lot to do with the uh, police boys clubs in Sydney Paddington police boys club Woolamaloo police boys club all worked on the mats there and uh, I think the police boy clubs and high schools and all the amateur bodies have uh, contributed a great deal to sport in Australia and also to the world of championship wrestling and Brannigan of course now has that hammerlock on to Ron Miller and drags the uh, right arm of Miller's around and certainly has got Miller tied up here. So much so that the referee now has uh, given the count there. And uh, Miller, you can see the look there in the middle of your television screen as Brannigan shows his huge bulk there to you. Trying to move in on to Miller at the count of two. And referee Marino was flat out there on the canvas trying to make sure both shoulders are pinned. 
And you can see the count going down for one again by Marino. The world of championship wrestling, and by gee, what a start we've had to it. Here we have a title match already on, and the first match between Larry O'Day and Jack Claiborne was absolutely magnificent. The great skill of both wrestlers put to the fore, and now Brannigan takes Miller, throws him into the ropes, takes him in, spins him around, and a beautiful arm drag by Ron Miller. Do you want to see that again? Well, I wouldn't I... mind seeing that in action replay if we possibly well, could. Just where Ronnie Miller reversed the attack coming from uh, Joe Brannigan as they came off the ropes. Here it comes down. So he got his throat there. Which, uh, the Joe throws him into the ropes. Off he comes. And look at a nice reversal there of Miller as he hip throws him, takes him down nicely. Great skills. Back to centre ring, and here we are back to action. And it's Joe Branning and over the top of uh, Ronnie Miller. Right over to, over the top. They're bigger men than the uh, first two. I mean, the Larry's probably and Larry O'Day and the other ones are probably a little bit uh, taller, and they're uh, but they're not as stubby as this, this crowd. And uh, these two here, these are real heavyweights, real heavy heifers getting into it here. Super. Watching each other very closely. Ronnie Miller, you see Joe Brannigan in centre ring. Down goes Ronnie Miller in a rugby dive as he takes him down, comes up with a leg lock, but Joe Brannigan has those shoulders outside the ropes. And in the rule, rules of wrestling, when it's a wrestler has a portion of his body protruding from the ropes, of course, the count is applied by the referee. Now, this match has gone five minutes, this match. This match has gone five minutes. Miller underneath, oh, take down there by Joe Branding, and over the top comes Joe, and uh, look at the referee, right on the spot, he's as fit as anyone I've seen this Tony Marino. They're locked in here, bear hug applied there by Miller underneath, There's Joe Branding coming over the top, Miller pushes him away, again Joe tries to roll forward, but Miller there as he digs in, digs those shoulders, he's going for the leg as well, trying to tuck him up in a package there, but... Uh, See Brannigan hanging on. Miller again over the top, trying to pull the arm around. Gets the arm away. Over he comes. It's a one count. A whip away there by Brannigan. Miller still hanging on. No hold as yet. He's just grabbing onto whatever he can get to try and keep that big fella down. Coming to their feet. Miller hanging on again. Comes up underneath. Goes behind. What's he got to get? Arm lock there. Tries to grab the arm. Goes for a wrist lock. Goes for the hammer lock. Can he get it round? No. Brannigan's got a three, but Miller still has the short arm bar applied there. Over the throat he comes. Look at Brannigan. Bring that arm across, but the throat pipe is still, or the windpipe is still clear. Comes down underneath now and winds up. Slams across the chest. Back to the ropes. Off the, oh, his shoulders. Miller heavily to canvas. Again, he comes off the ropes. Oh, nice takedown and tuck away there. In comes that leg lock that we were looking for from uh, Ron Miller. With a toe hole as he has Joe Brannigan down on the ropes. Nicely executed, Ronnie Miller. Off the ropes he came and down he went. Marino asking if there's going to be a submission, but we see the big fella hanging on, shaking that head, says no, as Miller applies. Got the leg lock and the toe hold as well. You see the figure four form there? There it is there. You can see the knee of Miller up and uh, crossing underneath the other leg as he locked that uh, leg of uh, Joe Brannigan. He's certainly looking for a quick result here, Ron Miller, and you can see that... Uh distorted face of their of Joe Brannigan's because he is, he is suffering a lot of pain when Miller applies that severe strength onto that leg of his. And Brannigan now may be looking for a way out going for that bottom strand of rope, although he's big enough to, uh, to stay in some pain there that Miller is applying to him and will try to come out of it himself with those huge arms of his. And Miller now watching as the referee puts the question to Joe Brannigan. A monster of a man, as I said, a super heavyweight, turned professional in 1969. A great uh, high school athlete, travelled throughout Canada, Japan and the United States. And you can see Miller now is in trouble with his shoulders pinned to the mat. And referee Marino hits the canvas on two occasions. And uh, Joe Brannigan watches closely as the hole is broken. And there's a slap, the powerful slap by Brannigan. And the forearm again to the uh, chest of, Joe, of Ronnie Miller and the referee just tells Brannigan to make sure that fist is not clenched. There's a forward body, looked like a forward body slam coming up, but didn't get it. It's a beautiful roll over and take down here. And the referee watched closely as the hole was broken by the complete strength of Joe Brannigan. Miller comes in now, trying to get that headlock gain on to Butcher Brannigan. And the referee is very, very close to the action. We've been going 10 minutes in the match so far. Well, the action's still going here in the Oscar Asian Heavyweight Championship match. Ronnie Miller against Joe Brannigan.
As Brennigan coming down on Ronnie Miller, he has the hammerlock applied there as he's dropping that knee to the, the left knee straight across the side of the head of Miller. Miller trying to get to his feet. He's got his hands on the ropes, and that's why the referee there is calling for a break. Joe Brennigan does break, but immediately comes back from taking that uh, wrist lock, hammerlock. Goes again, comes into the wrist lock now. Miller was dragging, trying to get over the neutral corner, but decided to come back with that forearm jolt. And listen to the reaction here from our studio audience. Calling on Ronnie Miller to get that extra ounce of effort, that extra effort that if you can find it there, to come back and pound into this Joe Brannigan. And again, and he sends the saliva flying from the mouth of Joe Brannigan. Again, he hits in. Beautiful forearm jolts. Comes in underneath, lift runs the side of the head and sends the oak tree and Joe Brannigan down the canvas. And there it is again, dear. You can almost feel it as he takes the left leg, takes it down, goes for the leg roll. Mike, that's what I'd like to see, one of those forearms of Miller's on the action replay if we possibly can, because that was a, had a lot of power in it. Well, he wound up, yes, have a look at this one. Just have a look at it. Very strong on the forearms is Miller. And you can see the powers he just drove across his chest there. We're going to get it for you, so don't leave. The action's still in centre ring, and you'll just see the power behind Ronnie Miller's forearm jolt as it digs into the chest of Joe Brannigan. Tony Marino again working overtime there. The referee, you can see the way they've locked each other up here. Brannigan gets out of it now, releases the leg hole, uh, gets back onto one knee, and Ronnie Miller is still in trouble because he has that arm bar on by Brannigan. And now Brannigan goes over the top, and uh, he's putting that arm breaker there onto Ron Miller. And Joe Brannigan just laying with that huge frame of his onto the back there of Miller. And he certainly means business. Joe Brannigan from the United States. Ron Miller, the Australasian heavyweight wrestling champ with his title on the line in this match. There's the, uh, a bridge there by Brannigan again. And the referee watches closely as Miller's got the two shoulders of Brannigan's almost pinned. And there was a count of one there by the referee. Again, he taps the canvas on two occasions. Nelly went down for the third. Once more, he puts the count, but he's rolled over there by Brannigan. And Miller now is in the uh, opposite uh, position to what Brannigan was a moment ago. Brannigan. We, we missed that replay, but we'll get. I'm sure that you'll we'll see some more forearm jobs from Ronnie Miller because he's an expert at it. And, uh... Mike, there's no doubt there will be more in this match, and I can tell you one thing on the world of championship wrestling, there'll be heaps of them galore, as Brannigan and uh, Ron Miller certainly use them one of the, as one of their greatest weapons. And you can see now, as Brannigan's shoulders are pinned, the referee hits the canvas once more on two occasions, which is making it very difficult for Ronnie Miller. Over comes Brannigan, look at Miller, straight away to the, to the ropes there, outside the ropes, and that's why the referee, Tony Marine, again called on him. Been going a while this match, it's about 15 minutes at this stage. Just remembering that uh, you saw a commercial, but the match was still firing in here, still going. Oh, as Miller digs in, again that shoulder coming in, looking, working on the midsection of uh, Joe Brannigan there. He's digging in, digging in deep. There's that forearm again by Ronnie Miller, and the elbow drop there by Brannigan, and Miller now. Oh, there's a high knee lift there by Brannigan. Brannigan moves over towards Miller, who's on his slumped at the canvas. Side headlock. Miller takes him up, tries to suplex him, puts him down, dropped him down the back, and here it comes. This could be it. It's the reverse figure four leg lock by the Australasian heavyweight champ. On to Brannigan, and there it is. The match is all over. A submission. A submission by... Joe Brannigan and Ron Miller still retains his Austro-Asian heavyweight wrestling belt. Over Joe Brannigan, no doubt the belt will be taken back into the ring as Ronnie Miller climbs to his feet, his arm raised by the referee, and Brannigan certainly doesn't look too happy. What a match that was.